Vivo en las calles de Medellín. Medellín, Medellín. So many things are said about you. But I know that the complete reality cannot be told in just a few seconds of a newscast or on the pages of yesterday's newspaper. No city is summed up in a headline. I don't think that London is just a bomb that exploded or that Mexico City is news of a kidnapping. And I'm sure that New York is not just another prisoner of fear. I can go on and on. When I'm told about the world in small fragments, I know that putting those fragments together does not put back together the shattered mirror. I wish that many more people could get to know this city like I do, like so many of us that have seen a sunset in Medellin. I like to wander a little bit deeper into the city to see what secrets are told by it. A city that insists on carrying on, that doesn't give up. Do you know what the landscape is like? The mountains that surround this valley are an embrace which wakes us up every morning, filled with the spirited certainty of our highest beliefs and purposes. Every street in my city leads to a place where a smile is born. That is who we are, even in the most difficult times. You have to be here to see it. We have learned to set our difficulties aside, including our surroundings. Walkways are turned into avenues, and paths become stairways to heaven. The metro changed our lives. And the metro cable is pure amazement that caresses the hillside neighborhoods that some had thought forgotten. Today, even our worries have changed. Engineering and ingenuity have brought us closer together. It is so easy to find love in Medellin. To live in our city is to be willing to fall in love. I remember the innocence and tenderness of my first kiss and the flowers I gave the very next day because there are blossoms for every day. We are always in season. The countryside is the outer map of the city, and green is its color, wherever you look. The mountains and the valley give us our food, and water is never in short supply. Streams are the threads of life that unite our topography. We grew up hearing that Medellin was the industrial center of Colombia, and it always has been. The commercial world passes through here. Every day I hear different accents spoken by those who are drawn by business and events, by trade fairs and congresses that have made their home and headquarters here. Opportunity is another way to say Medellin. I almost lost a brother once. Diseases are like that. But in the silence of the hospital, you can hear the whisper of miracles. And health always returns through the hands of someone I call doctor. I'm not the only one who can tell this story. The transplants are so many. The surgical breakthroughs, the scientific investigations. Countless people come from other countries searching for the hope that they find here. It's true, we have a present and a past full of pride, but we also have a past that made us partners through sharing pain. We have the marks scarred into our memory. That is why we bet on life, and we are winning that bet. We don't just say coexistence, it's in every breath we take. There was a time when we thought that the airports were only for saying goodbye. Our calendar has changed since those days, and the bus terminals have become open doors for greetings and hugs. 
because Medellin always gives you a reason to come back. You return to this city to have a delicious cup of coffee, to go to the movies and then walk home, to feel the joy of that certain party, to see that caring glance that you could never ignore, or to taste the exquisite food that is made only here. One stays to see the perennial neighborhoods age and to see how the new ones grow. You can visit the Museum of Antioquia to hear the murmur of history in your ear and to caress a Botero sculpture under the sun. You know that love can be seen in any park and you even stop for a moment to spy on it. There are so many essential places around the city that each one of us has a personal map to show visiting friends. The heart of our city has a neighborhood's name. The school is there, and in the eyes of the children, you can see that the future has arrived. Education is the foundation and instrument used to build this city. We are not afraid to dream, and we reflect these dreams. Medellin has a face, many faces, so many that together they form all the possibilities of tomorrow. I'll never be able to say exactly what this city sounds like. Our music is generous and can be heard on balconies and corners. It is the violin of a young girl who doesn't think about weapons because she prefers symphonies. Joy is in the streets. This identity reminds us that we are Latino and that we can never stop dancing. Every style of music that your ear picks up is part of the soundtrack of this movie called Medellin. Oh. And we can't forget the flower festival, which reminds us every year how this Antiochian land was forged, or how this city is dressed in twinkling Christmas lights every December. We remember all the festivities that call on us to come out and come together. And we remember that we grew up like that, together. Every day when I come home, my daughter's embrace reminds me that this is my home, and I rediscover that I want her to grow up in Medellin. During the past years, Medellin has gone from fear to tranquility, and from tranquility to hope. Aunque le canto a la tierra, vivo en las calles de Medellín y monto en bus, camino a ceras, respiro el aire, puro a futuro como jazmín. 